This is a crucial moment between a doctor and a terminally ill patient in pain. This man has asked for medical aid in dying. As Quebec's law requires, he's filled out all the paperwork and expressed his wishes to two different doctors, including Alain No. This is the second time No has seen the patient. He asks him again if he still wants help to die. They were supposed to set a date, but the patient is drowsy from pain medication. No returns later. La loi nous oblige à vérifier de façon très, très claire avec le patient. The law says we have to verify in a very, very clear way that the patient still wants to go ahead, he says. In his 30 years in palliative care, No has had many requests from patients wanting his help to die. But he couldn't act on them until Quebec's law came into effect last year. Qui est dans ses derniers jours de vie. He says patients at the end of their lives are asking us to use science and humanity to end their suffering. The patients must be adults with an incurable disease and unbearable pain. They have to make the request themselves and can change their minds at any time. Et ça permet à toute la famille d'être présent. No says it gives patients and their families a chance to say goodbye. No visits the patient again the next day, and he's satisfied the man has made his wishes clear. Je viens chercher, uh, les médicaments. Later, he picks up three injections he'll administer for a death he says will be gentle and quick. Les patients ferment les yeux tout doucement. The patient softly closes his eyes and falls asleep, he says. They stop breathing. There's no sound, no movement, no reaction. No says that he always checks with the patient one more time before administering those injections. In this case, the man did not change his mind. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.